everybody, welcome back. Um, I just want to do a quick intro to this video. Um, there are dead things in this video. Dead things, for sure. So, uh, if, if you don't want to see that, that is not the video for you. Um, today was just setting traps with Boxy. And, uh, you'll see, but we actually end up with two catches. So, you get to the video, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, guys, so, we're with uh, Boxy Outdoors here. Hey, guys. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna set a trap line. I forgot my headband to wear this, but tomorrow I'll have it, so. I think the only thing good here would be a pocket set, but, but there's so many entanglements, so. We're just going up and down this road here, but we got quite a bit of traps, so we'll be setting them. Okay guys, so we're in a stream here. Boxy was just making a pocket there for a pocket set. I bet you we'll, we'll get a big coon out of here. What trap are you gonna put in there? I'll probably put. I think I have a one and a half up here. Yeah, I didn't bring any one and a half, so I'd... Yeah, there's a golf I'll ball, guys. i probably put a one and a half. Looks like someone might have had a DP down in yeah. there. Yeah. That's my little trick. <laughs> okay, guys, so... Boxy threw in a one and a half coil pocket. And then right up there is a dog proof. So, we're going to move on to the next spot. Looks good. Mmm. Looks yummy. All right, so we put a conibear here, yep. uh, a hags bracket there, and Boxy put in a pocket set slash trail set, really. Yep. I mean, it's both of them, so right. we'll see if there's anything here in the morning. Okay, guys, so we got to put a cable restraint here somewhere. We're going to put on this trail, so. Now, there it is. <laughs> it's hard to see it. It's right there, so. This is a collab set. Me and Boxy, we did a collab cable, so we better get a golden coyote. All right. All right. So that's a pretty good one. Okay, guys. So Boxy's putting in a cable restraint here. This is deer and coyote, and then uh, on here put in a uh, cable restraint on a trail. And there are coyote tracks. I've probably stepped on them by now. Oh, there's one. There are coyotes going through. Let's see if we can get anything. Okay guys, so here's another cable restraint. We're going right through. So let's see if anything there. Okay guys, so bottom edge there. I'm not gonna walk back in because I got stuff stuck in my trap there. I got a foothold on the ledge and a bottom edge. Foxy put in a DP and then over there's a pocket set. So there's some traps in here. Let's see if we get anything. Okay guys, boxy's down in there. Let's put in two sets that way. A hags and a I set a hole, which the hole's pretty good, so boxy's is there a hole there? Yeah, there's a hole right here. Alright, so there's a muskrat hole right here. He's gonna put a conibear bear in front of it, so it's a nice little whatever you call it here. So <laughs> I guess you'd call it a swamp. It's not real swampy though, it's all over there. There's like a little muskrat hut, but. Getting a little low on traps in my baskets. I still have a lot of conibear bears, so we'll get them all set. Okay, guys. I'm sitting over here and I just heard a shake it in the water. Boxy just put in a run here. He's gonna film too, but I hear shaking. I'm like, is that a fish? And I look and I see a. Uh, hey guys, uh. They going. Just put a, uh. Yep, I got one right there. You can see the stake moving. We got him out of the trap and hit him on the head so it was a lot quicker for him, but wow. That was uh that was something. The the stick was going. I mean, it was I look over and it <laughs> Boxy thought I was joking, but it's real muddy now, but a real nice rat. So we caught one while we're setting. So we ain't got to wait to get the first catch. So all right, awesome. Real cool. Boxy's come out of the woods. We just put a uh, 330 Kana bear down in the water here from here. But there's a slide up there that goes all through here. I mean, it is 
there's a lot of beaver in here, so. All right, I might put a mink set up there. Not sure. Hey okay, guys, so we just put three or four more sets in. There's a big old muskrat. But I cut my knuckle, as you guys can see. <laughs> got three clown bears left, so we'll see where they go. A lot of traps out. Okay guys, so I'll add this to the uh, boxy video. But uh, this pond is loaded with rats. I just got permission to it. Um, he stopped at our house earlier when I was gone. But I asked last year, and I guess his nephew was trapping. Oh, there's some big deer. Big deer jumping. Um, there's a hut there. Hut there. 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 And then there's three down there. In this small little pond. So, sucks I got permission late in the season. But, um, I put two hags brackets down there. And, uh two conor bears in holes so I won't set any footholds here just because there's these I'm pretty sure they're domestic um, ducks they flew in so I don't know if they ran away from someone and they live back here or what but so I won't be setting the uh, uh, feed beds or anything just because of the ducks so here's another hole it's hard for you guys to tell well now you can see it see where it's light that's where the muskrats run in and out see all these bubbles so yeah, those guys are just cruising around, I guess, so. You can see the sticks, that's where my conor bears are in the water, so. Guys, I cannot make this up. I can literally not make this up. These two ducks just scared a muskrat into my trap. The stick is shaking as we speak. And he doesn't know what's going on. So... <laughs> I literally shut the camera off to shoo the ducks away from my conor bear, and I just see the trap shaking under the water. Um, I'm trying to see what I have I can hit the rat on the head with. I don't really have anything. So, that's unreal. <laughs> Those ducks just, just saved me. So, I'm going to pull this muskrat out of the water. They don't know what's going on. They're like, what? They literally, he stuck his head by the conor bear. So I pushed him out of the way almost because he wouldn't move. And then all of a sudden I see the trap shake. So you guys did a good job. I don't know where you guys come from. See how muddy it is? So. Take care of this guy. Okay guys, so I took care of him quicker than... The trap, it, it definitely killed him. He was just moving in the water, so I pulled him out to make sure, and uh, yeah, he's it, it, it got him pretty quick, so that's why I like these traps. Um, pretty much, if you're wondering, this, he's it's an Amish guy that owns this, and they moved to Tennessee. I'm in Pennsylvania. Um, they use this to fly airplanes and stuff, but these muskrats have gotten to the bank. Now, this happened within a year, because it was not like this last year. They have ruined the bank. I walked up up in there and I almost broke my ankle. So, guys, look at this muskrat. He's done. He's real done. That's why I like these, these traps. So pretty much, he wants me to get them all out. All of them. So, but thanks guys. Hey, I appreciate your help. You guys wanna go uh, scare one into my other trap, please? <laughs> you guys did good okay I'll admit you guys did pretty good so good job guys keep in mind this is literally out in the middle of a field so I had another conor bear right here and this is the same day that boxy caught one as soon as he said it so I got one there that's that's a good set well guess I'm gonna reset that Thanks a lot, ducks. Now I got a really nice sized muskrat. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, what a story to tell Boxy. Or he'll just have to watch this video. So, nice muskrat. We'll see how we do. Hopefully we can get, get some, whoa, you see that? This is exactly why people do not want muskrats. This hole that I'm trapping right here, 
where I just stepped, I fell in. That's where the bank's caving in. So this beautiful pond that they have, um, if I don't get at least half of these guys out, the bank is going to be pretty destroyed. So, all right, guys. All right. Okay, guys, uh, real quick, want to throw this in. Um, oh, my gosh. This is that rat that we just got. Um, it's not dark outside it's snowing, but it almost fills a muskrat uh, stretcher. It almost fills it. It is 20 inches. 20 inches. Like I said, I'm not that good at fur handling, but 20 inches. So, here in the fur har harvester's auction, right here, over 17 inches is a 3X. So, it's three inches over the biggest size that they grade. So, you could say this is a big muskrat. All right. So, hey, let's hope we have more tomorrow. I got my little heater on here. It's not doing much, but it's kind of keeping my hands warm. So, but, oh my gosh. Talk about a muskrat. That is a big one. Okay, guys, there is a real old, deep-sounding owl out in the woods and um, it's an old one you can tell real deep too um, that muskrat is absolutely massive and it's thanks to these guys so I threw them the pieces of carrot and some apple so it sucks I would use my hags but I don't want to catch these guys so I'm just gonna stick my conibears in the runs that's all I'm gonna do I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother. I don't want to hurt these guys. So these need caught out bad, though. I mean, they're gonna have some pretty bad ripped-up property if I don't get some of these out. I mean, there's like 15 huts because it goes back in there too. So, well, I appreciate it, guys. Um, thank you for the muskrat. They must hate the muskrats because they they scrammed him right into the trap. But uh, I gotta get home. It's almost dark. So I guess me and Boxy both had one today. You could say. All right. So we'll see what's on the line tomorrow. I think we'll have three muskrats here tomorrow. So, see you guys in the next one.